guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl sugar and guess what guys today is my birthday <laughs> to give you guys a gift today because I'm the birthday girl so I felt like I should give you guys something before I drop my actual birthday vlog so um, I sat down and you know reminisced over everything my childhood growing up where I am today like um, it's just been God and I decided to share with you guys 23 things that i have learned so far in life that i have lived by and that i am still trying to adjust to so i'm going to give you guys 23 of those and probably two three or four extras depends on how it um it depends on how it comes to mind so um ah, before i go into this video if you guys have not subscribed to my channel i really don't know what you're still doing like Okay, today is my birthday. Your gift to me should be you clicking that subscribe button. Like, actually, click it and share this video with your friends. Talk to your friends about my channel. My channel might not be the greatest, might not be the most interesting, but I am trying to like create something and build a community of my own. So that being said, click the subscribe button, like, comment, share with your friends. So right back into the main reason for this video so like i said i want to share with you guys things that i've lived by still trying to adjust to and you know things that have kept me going so um the first thing is i actually wrote it down so in case you see me looking down that's me staring at my phone to read it from my notes so the first thing i've learned and i've been living by and still trying to adjust to is letting people heal while growing up even till now whenever i have um like a fight with somebody i always expect that oh um like when i apologize and they're like okay i forgive you i always expect this immediate snap back like everything should go back to how things was but you know as time goes on i notice that it doesn't work that way it shouldn't work that way i should actually let them forgive me they should heal they should heal i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but they should heal and you know before we move on and things go back to how it used to be i should actually let them heal that's where true forgiveness comes from so if you're like me that expect things to always like snap back to how it used to be please i will employ you to let people actually heal and things will naturally go back to how it used to be so actually this is in no particular order so the second thing is also forgiving people i am this very hard hearted person i i like i rarely forgive people like i rarely give second chances in fact that first chance if you mess up the first chance like that's it with me but i think i'm learning to forgive people more because i hardly get angry i overlook things a whole lot so for me to like get angry with someone or like actually actually have issues with somebody that means what that person did is like huge so for me to forgive it's always so hard but i'm changing i'm like you know uh, so the third thing is letting go i'm always stuck on things like i'm always stuck on things i think it's almost the same thing as forgiving you know i i really let things go like sometimes even if i forgive maybe because i'm not completely healed healed you know i i, I you know i'll still keep on reminding that you you that you did this 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 to me you know that kind of thing so um one thing i've also learned is that not everybody will give me the deserved energy yeah this is majorly like about our uh, friends and family and all you know i have people that, that are doing businesses i support them i gas them up i like i hype them up i post stuffs for them i encourage them i patronize them i do advertisement and stuffs for them directly or, or indirectly even when they did not ask and you know i used to expect that everybody should also like 
not like everybody everybody like people that i know and i'm close to should also do the same for me but actually starting my youtube channel has made me realize that things will not always be that way like i have people that are close to me that i practically have to beg them like please let me put up link on your profile please let me do this please let me share my link with your friends you know that kind of thing so i think it's a bit of entitlement on my part which is bad but i i always expect people to give me like a particular kind of energy that I would and that I always give to them so um, the next thing is that there will be good and bad days and this kind of person that I am so positive I always expect like good 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 like everything should be going smoothly like there should be no problem there should be nothing to worry about everything should just be positive I should always be happy but growing up I've realized that there will be good and there will definitely be bad days it can't always be like smart you get me no sometimes there will be like gallop and potholes and all of that so that's that then the next thing is um getting used to notes <laughs> maybe because i was a sports child as a kid my dad super sport me i wasn't used to uh, being told no so it's also um when I started getting no from people, like when I asked for things, I asked for help, I asked for anything, and people tell me, no, I usually feel bad, like, how can you, like, how can you tell me no? Do you know, do you know who I am? Do you know me? Who am I though? <laughs> you know? But now I'm trying to like adjust to the fact that people won't always be, people won't always tell me yes, I won't always get everything. That I want so I'm getting used to being told no and you know move on not even holding a grudge or feeling bad or anything I'm actually getting getting to adjust to that kind of life and being that kind of person that I don't mind being told no in fact now before I ask anybody for anything I already have it in mind that okay this person might tell me yes this person might tell me no regardless I am not going to feel bad um, then the next thing is being accountable this has helped me a lot it has helped me a whole lot because growing up my mom used to teach us to be accountable for our actions to always take up responsibilities to always be accountable like take you know so the next thing is that um things might not always be rosy this is also close to um the point i made earlier that there will be good days and there will be bad days so it's that things might not always be rosy yeah that's self-explanatory enough um the next thing is everybody that smiles at my face isn't my friend this means not everybody is happy with you the fact that somebody is like oh i liked about you smiling with you you know always chatting you up always talking to you does not mean that they are actually your friend the next thing i've also learned is that man pro man proposes and god disposes this was this has been my this has been like my watchword for a very long time i've 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 learned to adjust to that kind of life that okay i'm not saying my own if god says it is not going to be then it is not going to be they say god is the master planner so let me just be let me just be you know let me just be me and just propose things that okay i want things to go this way i want this to happen i want this to happen i want this to happen it is what god says will be that will be so that's that then the next thing is that uh is growing i mean like actually growing and i don't mean by age or height or no but i'm talking about growth in every ramification financially physically spiritually mentally you know growing in every aspect of life yeah then um the next thing is separating my priorities while i was a bit younger than this i didn't used to like i in fact i didn't have priorities i just do things as they come so sometimes after doing one thing i'll now realize that i should have actually done this first before doing what i had already done so you get so now i'm learning to put things in order like prioritizing some things over others okay the next thing is i have to make my offspring lives better and i can only do that by becoming a better person than my own parents that way i can make life 
the life that like, I make my offspring lives better. The thing is never to put myself under any kind of pressure, be it peer pressure, self pressure, because I notice that sometimes I even put this kind of pressure on myself. It's one of the reasons that I don't like giving myself like a deadline because if I don't meet up with it, I always feel so bad. Like so, the next thing is that never to be envious of anyone, as everyone has their own as or have as everyone have their own time. Yes, this is something I want to put out there. Please, people, never ever compare yourself with anybody somebody that has something you want today you don't know what the person have been through you don't know what the person has you don't know what the person already endured you don't know the steps the person took you just know that oh this person achieved this thing this person has this thing but mm. the next thing is genuine happiness i've learned to be genuinely happy for people and for myself but most especially for people like when i hear any good news i'm always happy like yeah genuinely i don't know it's just a spirit that i have tried that i have um grown in me to be genuinely happy for people like i believe there is nothing too small to be celebrated like the next thing is reciprocating good things reciprocating good energy reciprocating good vibes no if you're my friend and you, you can definitely attest to this if you give me good energy trust me i'm returning i'm returning the same next on my list is that i am far from perfect i am trying to adjust to this i'm not even trying to adjust it. i've always known like because nobody's actually perfect nothing is perfect and i am definitely far from perfection okay the next thing is to keep going no matter what keep pushing keep going forward even if you're crying cry forward even if you're tired you've gone from walking to like slowly walking but make sure you're walking whatever direction you're walking whatever direction you're going i've learned that i should make sure it is forward to keep going the next thing i have here is try trying trying new things um this is something i've always i've always done and i plan to continue doing it i always like trying new things i try in fact i try new things all the time i like exploring you know i'm a very adventurous person so i like trying new things definitely okay so the next thing is that i have learned like at this stage of my life at this my present big age i have realized that everything that glitters isn't gold in fact it can even be stone you open it you think it's gold from the outside but everything that actually glitters isn't gold um so that is um yeah i think that's all i have written down and then um lastly i'll say one thing i've learned and i really learned a lot about it this year is that love is very 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 beautiful like uh, pe most people just need to give it a chance yeah ju we just need to give love a chance love is <clears throat> love is actually very 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 beautiful yes i said it mark my words love is very beautiful so last one thing i'm learning to live by i've always lived by it and i'm not going to stop is that in everything I have decided that I am going to be thankful because this year opened my eyes a whole lot. I lost so much. In fact, in the last three years, I lost so much. And this year is even worse. I lost an aunt, a very close aunt. I lost her three years ago. And this year, apart from all this old pandemic rubbish, like it's really got to me because it's it's um it's making my graduation late by this time i'm supposed to be writing my final exams already and you know in a few weeks time i should be a graduate but now I, I don't even know what is happening i don't know when i'm going to write exams i don't know in fact i don't even know what's happening with school so but still i'm thankful this year the pandemic thing my house was boggled a few weeks ago my camera my ipad like so much was stolen from me that's gone 
like i just lost so much and a few days back i lost my grandfather my dad's dad i lost him and we were so close like growing up i was so close with him and even till till his death we were very very close and you know i was so close i was so close to being depressed but i was like i'm still alive there is enough to be thankful for in fact life itself me still being alive is very enough it's more than enough what am i saying it's more than enough to be thankful for so in everything after everything beyond everything i am still thankful so um guys that brings me to the end of my video thank you guys for always watching thanks for always supporting me i'm using this um, opportunity to say thank you again so um don't forget to click the like button don't forget to share with your friends it's very important that's the bedding gift you should give me send the link to this video to at least 10 of your friends and tell them to subscribe and make sure they subscribe and you also if you watch this video to this point and you've not clicked on that subscribe button i don't know what you're doing it's not it's not even for me you're doing you're doing yourself if you don't click that subscribe button right now you are doing yourself anyways i'm leaving you guys it's all love from my end i love you guys a whole lot and i know you love me too so you can wish me a happy birthday on my instagram page at sugarated underscore i'm going to leave the my handle i'll leave it in the description box and anyways gifts are welcome if you want to send me a gift tell me i'll send you my address and you dhl my gift or you send it to any career company i don't know but um cash gifts don't worry i'll tell you what i want for my birthday <laughs> so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in my next video which is probably going to be my birthday vlog i love you all bye guys